Oh, Libra. What's popping, baby? What's going on in the life of a Libra between the 1st and the 15th of November? Hmm? <clears throat> Y'all healing? Y'all intuition is pop, 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 Hmm. <laughs> Y'all dealing with past life relationships? And contracts? It's time to deal with them. Bring the balance back to things. Hmm. Hmm. What you want, Libra? What you really want? What what you have? Is it truly what you want? Did you settle? Reevaluation time. Let's get it. Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot Channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel. Hey, boo, hey. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Um, if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader on YouTube, baby, um, that resonates more with you. I love you long time. Don't love you any less. It's just this my shit, and I'm going to do what I want to do, okay? To all of my um, old subscribers, to my new subscribers, y'all, thank you so much for the likes, the shares, the comments. To the new subscribers, welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional up in here. We do not fight and fuss, we leave that shit on other people's channel, posy vibes only, um, however, we do grow, love, we, um, share, we enlighten, you know, we uplift, and we just push forward, we want to evolve, that is the purpose, okay, so with that said, this is a general reading, it's not a personal, I currently have a $10 one question, one answer reading special ending on the 31st of October. Okay, so I did make a separate video for that, but I know everybody don't always do those short little videos. Um, but um, if you want to get your reading special in, please feel free to hit me up. Your girl is working. Okay, um, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers of Libra. Um, and all that information about the personal reading stuff is below. I also have, y'all, a special, because I just forgot that fast. I have a $15 off special for my 30 through my 60 minute sessions, and that ends on November the 1st. So y'all get it in, okay? All right, so with that said, let's rock, family. All right, so I've been meditating, and, you know, I'm a Libra rising, and hmm, some of these words that I was actually able to obtain, uh, when I meditate here recently, especially I've been being called out to water in nature, so when I get out there, it's like a movie a lot of times that play through my head, but it's like I don't even realize because if you feel like I only wrote like maybe four to six words and then I look up and I got a whole damn page. So um, with that said, <clears throat> if any of these um, intuitive messages truly, 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 and they're more so like vibrations and adjectives of what I felt and I wrote down everything that I could get. Okay. So I got protection. Rejection, acceptance, indecision, fairness, empowerment, deception, catalyst, releasing, karmic debts paid, step in, royalty, wisdom, forgiveness, bondage, revelations, universal lessons, the self, faith, awakening, water, Virgo, Aries, Pisces, Libra, Sagittarius, Nature, Choices, Path, Freedom, Singular, Reconciliations, Strategic, Truths, Lies, Teaching, Learning, Knowledge, Ascension, Recreation, Recognition, Growth. If you can resonate with any of those vibrations and this message is for you. This is what um, my guides internally picked up from the vibrations of tuning into your energy, um, which I was able to dig in. Okay, so let's talk, family. All right, this full moon in Taurus um, is going to affect Libra in your eighth house. Okay, so it's about being very selective, ensuring that what you allow in your life is the best option. You know, that song um, for Libra, I kept hearing, it's crazy. Choosing lover, girl, I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad you chose me, baby, baby, and I'll make you so happy. Okay, so I feel as if, <sighs> Libra, this is a time for reevaluating, improving, you know, Really, really, really being selective of who, what, 
where you're going to be at, being selective of the energy that you allow in your life, period, okay? I feel like some of you all are needing to make a move. Some of you all are feeling the sense of stagnancy. It's stagnancy, yet indecisiveness about stagnancy. It's like you know what to do, but it's like, but it may not be seen as fair. But I want whoever, whomever vibration I'm picking up hella strong like that. This is a few of you all. What's fair is not always right for you. And it's truly about the self. With that uh, North Node in Leo, it's truly about the self obtaining things that make and that, that, that actually brings that harmony within the self. And it's infinite. It's time to expand, baby. And ain't nothing going to stop change. Ain't nothing going to stop evolution. And it's not about seeing things on a, from an earthly sense, <clears throat> but from a soul's evolution standpoint. You get what I'm saying? So Libras, you will only expect the best of things during this time. You are not settling for not E mother mother. Okay. So let's rock. So your first message comes from the Doreen uh, Angels Crystal Well. Crystal Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. The first message that you guys got was Dolomite. Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. And I felt that as well. Watch your thoughts because you guys are rapidly manifesting things um, here into the material realm with your thoughts. So if you think bullshit, then so be it. Let's think some positive things. And when you're having to cut these people off, quit feeling bad about that shit. If people do not understand you or how you get your money or they judgmental, but they're not adding into your life with any damn thing and you feeling bad about having to move forward, tell yourself and ask yourself, Oprah ain't got no damn friends. If I'm trying to be, if my vibration trying to be the hell up here and you choosing to stay down here, then I need to make the choice because you have to be fair to yourself. So you're going to stay down here due to this other person. Baby, you can't save everybody. And you damn sure can't take advice for everybody. Before y'all start taking advice from people, really get a, a true evaluation of their shit and their life. And if they settled, do not allow them to be a dream killer in yours. Period. Dolomite, stay strong in your faith. This card symbolizes a different kind of strength. Built on the foundation of trusting your inner guidance. Not aggressive towards yourself or anyone else. It recognizes the need to honor everyone's feelings and rights. The message here is to stay internally focused upon your guidance. Keep your mind and heart filled with faith even if your path seems illogical and you feel anxious or afraid. Immerse yourself in positive activities such as reading, uplifting material, listening to gentle music, and attending spiritual or religious gatherings that boost your, that boost your faith. This card means that your outcome is dependent on keeping a positive mindset which you do have control over. By choosing to pray for help and making the choice to keep your surroundings as positive as possible, you embody divine feminine strength, which is needed if you are male. This is also a sign to stay strong with respect to your personal beliefs and faith, okay? So don't allow other people to project their fears on, fears on you. This world is expanding, and because of that, a lot of people are being enlightened, and a lot of people are moving away from just one set mindset. They're being accepted to receiving, you know, the knowledge at, the knowledge and the light at be. And so with that, you know, people get, and they find they get it in their own time. You can't make them get it when you want them to get it. And you can't make somebody accept your point of view. You can only accept how you feel, trust how you feel, and know that that is your path to move forward on, even if you got to leave a bunch of motherfuckers behind, period, okay? So during this time, you guys, it's about freeing yourself. Spirit really wants you to free yourself from this bondage. Like, like I said, if a person staying down here, it is not your job to stay down here to keep their ass company when you know you got up here potential for what? Because you're stealing and you're robbing, from, you're robbing yourself. Of prosperity and happiness and abundance. Speaking of abundance, you guys are really needing to be grateful during this time and really be able to see the beauty around you. Spirit is trying to rain abundance upon you, but they're going to be pouring information on you and giving you enlightenment during this time to allow you to allow you to free yourself of that concept, pretty much that you kind of gave yourself. You know, feeling like you have to be obligated to someone because of this, or you have to do that. Those are worldly views. What do you believe? What feels right to you? 
Some of you all, some of you all are really needing to get outside. Some of you all, those damn frogs are symbolizing prosperity. And they're also symbolizing positive, uh, positive results as far as it pertains to your health. I'm also seeing during this time, a lot of you all, y'all, y'all literally believe in miracles during this time. Abundance is trying to rain on you, but if you can only be accepting to the lessons that the surface things bring to you. It's not about what that person did or if someone did something to you. It's not about what they did, but what you learned from it because it, it, it keeps you out of this energy. A lot of you all are going to be very reflective over the past and the, and the decisions that you choose that you chose to make due to some type of rapid changes. But Spirit is telling, telling me to tell you that you'll be all right. Some of you all will be receiving very prophetic messages in your dreams. Some of you all may even be um, communicating who are on the twin flame journey. Some of you all uh, possibly have been receiving telepathic communication from your twin flame or your karmic partners. And I feel like... You all, you're going to be receiving a lot of information from the divine. And it's to give you clarity about this situation because some of you all are holding on to possibly, uh, you know, what could I, what could, what could have I done differently? You know, you're blaming yourself and self-sabotage is just as toxic as blaming another person. Because some of you all, the people in your energy have accountability issues and spirit is going to allow you to see things from a different perspective during this time. Y'all third eye is booming. Some of you all are even able to see your future during this time. Like you having prophetic dreams about uh, possibly you seven months from now or seven weeks from now. A lot of you all will be having massive deja vu moments. There's a need to focus on your root chakra. Some of y'all could be having dreams that you're killing your kids. In this spirit. So, Jane, I would never fucking sleep. Anywho. Um... So I understand you, you. I understand that completely. Okay. Some of you all, things are coming to coming into alignment during this time, or things will. For those of you who are possibly worried about some type of um, custody cases or some type of um, paternity information, I'm hearing some type of um, judgment, justice. To be obtained out of a situation, especially if it's involving a child, um, things are lining up for you. You just got to trust the process and you have to have a little bit more patience than what you have and stop beating your damn self up. Some of you all, there's a focus on the throat chakra and really speaking your truths. And because it's like a lot of you all, like I said, you know what move that you need to make, but you're choosing to kind of stand still out of how everybody else going to feel, but everybody else is driving you fucking crazy. It's time to make a move and just stand in that right and stand truthfully in that right unapologetically and often and often authentically. You know what the hell I'm trying to say. Okay? Some of y'all could be um, for those of you all, Spirit wants you to know if you had problems in the past conceiving a child or maybe a doctor told you you couldn't have a baby Get more information. Some of you all, um, if you're trying to have a baby, some of you all are practicing magic. Um, something to do with the womb and nature. If you're practicing um, or if you're performing moon rituals to manifest a child within your life or a, a baby, um, for one, I'm seeing that you actually need a new moon or a full moon and actually pay attention to your menstrual cycles because some of y'all actually may be having changes to your menstrual cycles during this time. Like if you have two periods, excuse me, fellas, my bad. But if you have two menstrual cycles, some of you all are going to find out that you've still been having menstrual cycles, but your ass is pregnant. And I'm hearing something about fibroids, so you really need to go get that um, checked out. Some of y'all really need to nurture yourself, pick yourself back up, and come at one with yourself. Some of you all may also be seeing white birds during this time. For those of you who meditate by water, some of you all may be seeing, what's the little, um, the little fat ass, little pretty little fish? They usually be a restaurant, a restaurant ponds. Um, they like really with the, with the little blow face, like. But they big and pretty and orange and they flow out. Okay. I don't even know what they fish lovers. Comment. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> some of you all actually may get some knowledge or information from spirit that allows you, that gives, that, that reveals information to you in order to um, assist you in knowing how to move or how to be receptive to uh, someone moving towards you during this time. Some of you all, whatever it is that you're working on, some of you all are really working on grounding yourself. You're really working on, you really needing to get out in nature in order to assist you. And some of you all are really needing to see the beauty in what it is that you have and where it is that you have come in, where it is that you have been and where you're trying to go. And see the beauty in where you are now, like really stop. Some of y'all have very victimized people in your energy. And Spirit said, if you're going to save somebody, save your damn self. Choose to save yourself. You are not stuck to anybody. The focus is on the self a lot for Libra. It's like get out of this place of regret, remorse, or thinking negatively about, you know, what happened or what you done took L's on and just see the beauty around you so the spirit can truly bless you and move you on, you move you on your path to experience this abundance. But you're needing to claim it and see it. You're needing to believe it in order to see it. Set that man set that intention to bring that manifestation to the surface. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of butterflies during this time. Some of y'all may receive a huge download as well. While um I don't know if you have a garden, somebody has a garden where they sit by their flowers. Um these are purple flowers. I'm not really good with flowers either. They're just really pretty. I don't know too much about them though. Um but these are pink <clears throat> flowers. Some of you all who um I actually have tele uh, telepathic or mediumship with animals. Some of you are going to find out that you can feel the vibration and understand through your heart and through your... Some of you all are going to find out you're clear audience, but you can hear animals. I know y'all like, Mocha, you telling me I'm going to be on some Dr. Doolittle shit? Yep, that's precisely what I'm telling you, Dr. Do Doctor Libra Little, okay? Some of you all are going to receive some truth and clarity to um, assist you in even making the choice to move forward in a relationship. This could be a Leo, air sign, water sign. But it's definitely a past life relationship. For some of you all, you intuitively know that there's someone coming to give you an offer. I feel like this person could be mad. This person could actually be better than you um, and a wife. I feel like in a past life, this person was either indecisive or you was indecisive. In this life, you have the opportunity to free yourself by something that you birthed or something that's birthed. Or to actually move forward with this person, but you're just sitting in this indecisive energy because for some of you all, you have options. But some of you all, there is changes. Like, I feel like you wanted to create with someone, okay? But <clears throat> I feel like some of you all are dealing with the Aries, the dynamics of how you deal with that person is getting ready to change. Some of you all are dealing with the earth sign who could possibly be juggling you with another earth sign. Or this could be you, Libra, juggling an earth sign and a water sign. And I feel like if you married to either one of these people, um, they could be re they could be receiving like intuitive dreams. Leave us. Some of y'all are definitely dealing with an intuitive. For some of you, you want to make an offer to an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but you could be married. But for some of y'all, changes are coming around y'all marriage. Hold on one second. Cards and shit. Woo! <laughs> Some of you all could possibly have a fire sign. You could have cut this person off in the past. This person could have Aries in their chart. Uh, sun, moon, rising. They could also be another Libra like you. Leo, Sag. But I feel like this person could have been very indecisive. Could have actually cut you off due to a juggling situation. Now this person wants to reconcile and move forward. And Libra like, mm, I don't trust your ass. Um, <laughs> but some of you all, it's a Leo. But some of you all, it's Taurus. Some of you all is definitely Aries. Some of you all are actually going to reconcile with Aries during this time as well. You want to move forward with this person and come out of this 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 period of mind games. Because for some of you, you want to take a leap of faith with a person. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, like yourself, but or another. Um, oh, I'm sorry, or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or this Aries. But I feel like you want to take this leap of faith. But at the same time, it's just like, damn, am I still going to be? You know, packing all of these damn ones. I'm tired, fuck. Okay, but at, during this time, I see that this person is coming in to help lift the load, the emotional load, the internal load. Because for some of you, your lesson is to forgive this person. It doesn't mean that you have to uh, date them again. 
But for some of you all, this person is coming in to reveal secrets to you. For some of you all, it's a Scorpio. For some of you, it's the father of your child, of your children. This could also be Taurus. Scorpio and Pisces here as well. Some of you all are going or ending the cycle possibly with the Pisces. I feel like some of y'all got an earth sign in y'all energy that's really trying to hold on to y'all. This person could be extremely controlling and it has to do with money or this person is trying to control you um, with money. Maybe you're trying to apply for a job. Maybe if you're waiting on that job, that job is coming. And that job is coming as a form to free yourself because this person, yeah, this person is being manipulative during money. Some of you actually have a fire sign in your energy. I feel like this person is trying to hold on to you with finances or this person may feel like you're trying to hold on to them for finances. Okay, so they could be very defensive towards you or maybe you're being defensive towards this damn fire sign or this earth sign. But this person is going to be communicating with you and the spirit just wants you to stand your ground, stand your truth, speak your truths unapologetically. If you're burdened by this person, tell the motherfucker you're getting on, you, you, I'm up the tide. You're getting on my nerves. Okay. Yeah, some of you all, some of you all could be finding out that you're pregnant during this time. Congratulations, Uncle Lotta Kids. That's the, that's what that Venus energy do. She that the mother, she kind of leaves out with babies and shit. Um, some of you all are possibly um finding out. For those of you who are dealing with Pisces, Libra, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, some of y'all could be finding out you're pregnant. Some of you all could actually be starting businesses during this time and you're kind of worried about leaving a job because you could have been there for five years, five months. You're loyal. You don't want to leave, you know, anything, anyone behind. However, shit got to go. The shakeup has to occur because spirit say it's time to be your best self. But some of you, like I said, you could be the mother. This could be the mother or father of your child. This person could have left you out in the cold. This person is coming in to cause a tall moment in your life. For some of you, you your, your lesson is to choose yourself. And to ensure that you're not settling. To be honest, baby, it was destined, okay? For some of you, you could have had someone in the past focused on money. They didn't want to talk about feelings. They didn't want to talk about love. They were very detached. And now this person has went through karmic lessons and karmic cycles, okay? Justice has been served. Things are lining up for you. You may not be able to see the beauty of things before. But when this person comes forth with their shit and tell their truth. And for some of you all, this person is only coming forth to tell their truth. They're going to be out just as fast as their ass came in. Okay, but it's going to bring up you don't need to shake up in order for you to release that hurt, release that confusion, release those anxieties, release that feeling of feeling stagnant and stuck in a situation due to somebody possibly playing mind games. Some of you is a Scorpio. Some of you, this, this person is one again, offer this cup of love, sell your ass dreams, these knights, knight of rods. Look at this shit. Pay attention. Fast moving energy. As quick as they ass come in, come in, they come out. Okay? But they ain't even looking at each other. They ain't even looking at each other. They not even looking at each other. This passionate motherfucker don't. What's love got to do? Got to do with it. And they could be coming in because they see you creating this world elsewhere. They see you actually, they were trying to manipulatively, manipulatively hold on to you. It ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. This is someone who made decisions by not making a decision. So that for that leaves you feeling obligated to open the door because you feel that the need to have closure. Forgive that person. Forgive yourself for being naive. Learn the lesson. Take it from it. And release this person's energy. Ask God to cut the, ether, the etheric cord. Or since you, a lot of you all are doing research. Okay. A lot of you all are gaining knowledge. Get out your head. And, 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 and get on understanding your energy and the substance and the beauty and the balance that Libra brings between the esoteric world here and the physical plane. You are beautiful. You are a creator, baby. Everything that you want, you finna get it. Some of y'all need to stop drinking so damn much. Some of y'all got a water sign in your damn energy to drink a lot too. But I feel like your Ace of Cups is here. Your new love is here. Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person is here. And things are aligning for you guys to have that stability, to have that family. This person is coming in to lighten the load for you. But you have to be receptive and let this person who just fucked up in and out energy, this unstable, unstable, insecure energy that you don't know have acceptance issues. When you sit up and think about why did this person do me like that? How, how, how do they treat their mother? 
How did their mother treat them? What 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 the, what you know about their family's upbringing? How was it? Is it mirroring? Is it similar to yours? How can you expect the person to love you in harmony? The only way they know how to love you is through discord and dysfunction. They have to first want to love themselves and want to grow and evolve like you chose to do. Period. You can't take everybody with you. You can't make nobody see nothing. The divine is making this person see some shit. But guess what? A little too late. It's a little too late. Hope they see it fast. Cause I'm finna tear my ass up out of here. Okay? Libra. Happiness. Love. Divine love is here. But it's after walking away from somebody. A sneaky motherfucker. Who you could have had a kid with. This person could have actually you're gonna be finding out this person could have actually had a kid with you. Especially if this person is attached to a Leo. Or another air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. This person could also be attached to this person could actually be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo as well, but you're gonna be receiving some truths. That's gonna assist you in walking away because you've been you've been internally conflicted about moving away from this. <clears throat> okay. But during this Scorpio season, for some of you it is a Scorpio, but during this Scorpio season, something has to die. That heaviness has to die in order for true love to show up on your doorstep. And for some of you, this person has shown up, but you won't receive them and you won't allow them to love you wholly. Because they love your authentic self. That you've been tucking in your pocket to please others. But it's destined for you to be prosperous. It's destined for you to be abundant. It's destined for you to be happy. It's destined for you to have love. True love. But you got to see through the smoke, baby. This is what I have for you guys between the 1st and the 15th of November. For those of you reconciling your families, okay, after a third party situation, what did you learn? Where have you been? Where are you trying to go? Know that the only person that can stand in your way is you. Don't stand in your way, Libra. You got too much substance, oomph, pizzazz, and all of that love for that. Use it properly. That Sagittarius. I'm here. Think wisely. I love y'all. Send you much love. Much light. Many, many, many blessings. Much healing energy. And if you need that reading, hit me up. Namaste. Bye, y'all.